gonna let that water come to a complete boil. Now that I got it to a good boil, I'm gonna let it keep going. Then I take like a like rounded ladle spoon and I sit the egg in it and this just helps it from you know it's cold and once it hits the um, roaring hot water it it's not gonna crack so I just like gently drop it in and then I just continue the process now I'll cover it shut this off now I'm going to let them sit in the pan for about 10 minutes and they should be perfectly cooked. Doing it that way should get you a perfectly boiled egg. So let's find out. Not bad, right? Also, don't throw away the shells from your eggs. After you've cracked them, break it up in little pieces and add it to the soil in your garden or to your indoor or outdoor plants flowers they love the nutrients that remain in the shells and really helps your garden grow don't throw away that water that you boiled the eggs in let it cool down and add it to your outdoor or indoor plants because they are full of nutrients and if you just recently watered and you don't need it put it in an empty container and save it for when you do vlog on grocery day let's go through it got a good amount of stuff all right so starting off at this end bananas broccoli some all natural scallops thought this might be a good option for my son some crispy buffalo shrimp uh, shrimp rolled in crispy breadcrumbs spiced with tabasco sauce flavor bakes in minute and it's from the kitchens of Margaritaville restaurants. So let's see if he's gonna like that. And I got a can of Chef Boyardee Chili Mac. We actually um, have never had this, but it's macaroni with beef and chili gravy. And that's actually um, to have with a hot dog at dinner. And then I got four cans of tuna, the solid white albacore tuna it was buy two get two free the eggs i got two dozen uh you are allowed to get two dozen with digital coupon for 77 cents a dozen and i got these sound so good i got two of the same of the chobani oat blueberry almond crumble um yogurt and digital coupon limit two their straw brand butter a dollar 99 each so i like to take advantage of those deals and stock up and then i wanted to try the country crock plant butter with almond oil i've tried the one with olive oil but i've never been able to find the one with almond almond oil so got that and then i got myself some cottage cheese this one has pineapple and cherry added also got some uh, mango peach applesauce got two packages of the applegate black forest uncured ham some bread some watermelon lemonade says it's new and then i really like um the Arm & Hammer uh, laundry detergent and it was on sale for $1.99. I only got two because I still have two and I almost always get the one with the auto blasters and it smells really good too. And then back there, <laughs> random, let's go back there. 
Well, not so random because um, I have been trying to find a lunchbox that's suitable for, you know, the needs of the person <laughs> that this is for. And I just haven't been able to find it. So it actually, like, opens up to a decent amount. Like, it'll fit a, um, like, decent size container uh, perfectly. Like, this came with it, but um, I didn't really need it. It just came in. It actually came with an ice pack, too. And, it like, it looks small, but it's, like, actually a good size, like, when you fully open it and uh, considering it was at a grocery store it was only $12.74 I, I found that like really reasonable so I didn't want to pass it up like I said I've been waiting months to find a lunchbox that was suitable all right where did I leave off okay lunchbox and then this is kind of like the snacks portion um this is some from home, some for work. These are new. They had strawberry, I believe, too. It's by Hostess. It's cookies and cream. And it's like little wafers. And I think that was $3.99. And then I got some chocolate and peanut butter pudding uh, with nutter butter pieces. And that's a four pack. That was on sale two for seven and then some just some tapioca pudding and then just in case you like doritos your family likes doritos uh these are new they have them in the uh, spicy ranch they are 3d crunch and the uh chili cheese nachos <laughs> these bags are so small and it was a sale uh two for seven so they're even more expensive it's ridiculous but my son likes these and then i'm a sucker for um <laughs> seasonal candy i always like to have it in the house and i actually bought these last year so they're, they're the sour patch kids but they just the red white and blue so that was cute and they were on sale two for ten so five dollars and um, i that believe i paid five dollars for it last year too and then um some el fudge cookies some of the coconut dreams those were on sale a dollar 99 each the nutty buddies were on sale for two dollars and then the soda was a digital coupon uh three for 8.97 so code red mountain dew regular mountain dew and mountain dew voltage and then um, i needed pasta i actually prefer wheat pasta but this uh, brand didn't have any, so I settled for the regular. So I got one rigatoni and two of the Lodge Elbows, and then a case of water, $1.99. And the dog food, too, was a couple of dollars off. And I went with this one because it has accents of carrots and tomatoes. So I don't think I've ever bought that one, so we're going to give that one... I try anytime I pick up any kind of meat or seafood I have a food binder but it needs to be worked in and with everything that we're doing in the house I, I just I don't have the time so I just use this notebook um, temporarily and I just write everything in uh, before I get it put away so I'm gonna write down that I have scallops that way when I meal plan um, I just look at what I have first before I decide on you know what I'm going to shop for now I'm going to tackle my morning dishes some of them need to go into the dishwasher some of them I gotta wash by hand I just gotta empty out the dishwasher first I left this out in the morning now I just gotta put them where they belong I just gotta fill the ice tray again put away my matcha tea powder put away the syrup and then the grapes I have been washing them as I needed them but now that there isn't many left I'm just gonna wash them and put them in a smaller container and put them in the fridge I'm so happy that one of my lavenders are coming back but the other one didn't oh well at least one of them came back 
And look at my rug, all dirty. I I really need to get it washed. It's this one, the, the top one. It's not even dirty, It's it just ran. I got a question for you. On certain holidays, like for instance, Valentine's Day, Mother's Day. Do you navigate the gift giving like specifically, for instance, if it's Valentine's Day, it's just for your significant other and Mother's Day, is it just for your mother or do you gift to like Valentine's Day? Do you gift to your children, to your parents? Like Mother's Day, do you gift to your daughter because she's a mother or your daughter-in-law or you know a, a special aunt like for mother's day i received from a few different people and i i just wonder like you know does the majority do that and with that question i'm gonna let you go thanks for vlogging with me today i'm gonna say bye but if you want to check out what i got for mother's day that'll be next this is a charm for a pandora bracelet Let's see if I can get it to actually show up there. I think, I think you can see it. It's tiny. It's a little bathtub with a bubble bath in it. That's so sweet because I love to take baths and this came with it. This color is so gorgeous. Look at that shine and what a beautiful spring color. The next gift were these nail strips and this candle. And the psalm on it is from Corinthians 12 10 and it says, For when I am weak, then I am strong. These really pretty hanging earrings with the American flag. Look at that. That is going to be a fun little accessory for the summer. Here's the next one. So we got a yellow, a hot pink. I've seen this nail polish and I always wondered about it and um, it's vegan free. And then cute socks. <laughs> Look at these. I recognize that label from the Dollar Tree. And the last one is another set of nail strips. I wonder if they were purchased from the same place. Let's see if I can zoom in on here so you can kind of see the pattern. There you go. Got some sparkle. And then a room spray from Yankee Candle. Lilac Blossom. A top coat. These are really pretty. And look at these. Oh my goodness. They do not look like they came from the Dollar Tree. If it wasn't for this tag, I would say no way. Yeah, so if you're still here, um, tell me your thoughts on that on that question. I, I'm really, really interested in um, your take on it. Again, bye.